YouTube friends, Itsy here, and I am here with some happy plant. Happy plant right here is St. John's wort. This is another wonderful wild edible, and it's also very medicinal. You don't want to eat a whole bunch of it because it is medicinal, but what I normally do with St. John's wort, you could see it grows here on the edge of the road. And there's a bunch of plants on the whole edge of the road up here because it likes sun and it grows naturally in the sun, usually on the edge of the woods. This one is pretty much almost spent. The good time to harvest this would have been maybe three weeks ago or so. But nonetheless, you could still harvest this. All the aerial parts are usable. You can use all the aerial parts, meaning everything from the ground up in the air and it really works i'll tell you if you're down and feeling a little bit depressed this plant is just amazing and my ex-husband he would within a day or two of feeling down especially in the winter time when you get when you get the um the blues the winter blues if you're up in the northern climates you would uh take some of this i used to make a tincture out of it in fact, I still do. I have a tincture at home that I just made. But um, just take a dropper full of the tincture and it's amazing. Within a day or two, you could feel the difference. You could feel start to feel the blues lift and you feel a little happier again. It's just a really good plant. The only thing if you're going to get a surgery or something like that, it's probably good to get off of it for a couple days if you do. And it is a medicinal, so you don't want to take it at the same time as you, if you're taking something that's being used for the same purpose. So if you are taking antidepressants, you don't want to take St. John's wort. If you want to take St. John's wort as an antidepressant on its own, that might be nice. You could do that. And just monitor yourself. Also, sometimes it can make you a little photosensitive, meaning if you're out in the sun, you could get kind of burnt. If you're out in the sun too long when you have St. John's Word in your bloodstream. So, you know, you do have to use things with caution for sure. It's wise to use things with caution. So, it's just a wonderful plant and you can probably grow it most places in the U.S. I believe. A lot of times you could just find it in the wild and if you harvest it, just cut down so far and leave a couple inches of the plant still intact with a couple leaves and things like that because then it will continue to grow and then you could have some for next year. You can just take the leaves and the flowers and dry it and then make the tincture out of it or you could put it fresh and make a tincture. Here you go, here's some more. It's such, it's such a pretty plant too. It's got beautiful little yellow flowers. I'm going to show you this pretty close up here so you can see it better. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you know it's the right plant. You look at really good pictures in a reputable book. Or it's always good to know people who are into their plants and go on walks with them. Offer to buy them some fruit. <laughs> if they take you on a walk and show you the wild edibles. That would be me. Take me. Uh, I'll show you the wild edibles if you feed me fruit. <laughs> All right, so that's the happy plant, St. John's wort. It's a beautiful plant, and it works really well to get rid of the blues. So it's good talking to you. Thanks for watching. I'm out here where it's so peaceful and quiet in upstate New York, and I'm heading to the Woodstock Fruit Festival to volunteer to manage the boat store. Oh, I, I said boat store because I used to work at a boat store in the canal when I was a, when I was a park ranger. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's like what I say. Anyway, good to talk to you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and I'll come to you next from the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Take care. Love you. Bye.